Hey, it's me, Puzzle Tree, and welcome back to another Manulux tutorial. Today, we are going to have a look at how to implement the YouTube API. And we will do that after this message from our sponsor. This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. So to get started with the YouTube API, you want to go to console.developers.google.com and this is where you see this view. For you, it, it should only have this create button as you are probably new here. So that starts by there, just slowly creating a project. So I'm gonna call this project name JDA Tutorial Bot. And it looks like I'm the first one to claim JDA Tutorial Bot as project name. So I get the full project ID. So we're gonna hit create. Right now it's creating the project. And once it's done, you should see something like this. And it should already have selected the JDA tutorial bot item. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to enable APIs and services. And in the search box, we're going to type YouTube. And you see a lot of APIs here. And the only one that we care about is the YouTube Data API version 3. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to say enable. So right now this is enabled. And if you go check out our quotas. And as you can see we have 10,000 queries per day. If you want more you can always apply for more. But this is more than enough for, our, for us. So what we need to do next is go to credentials. And... Go to this drop down here, create credentials, and hit API key. And let's copy this over. Uh, don't even bother trying out that key because it will not work anymore after this. Right now, we can go over to our JDA project. And in our bot config.json, I already created a new entry called YouTube key. And we're going to paste that in there. I will also update the example bot config on the GitHub without the key. So you have something to copy paste. So now this part is done. And real quick before we continue. Let's regenerate my token. Next up we need to go to Google and type Maven Central. Google API services YouTube and this is the first link we're gonna grab the latest version click here to copy and then go over to our bolted cradle and paste this in what I'm also going to do is change compile to implementation and update lava player to version 3.17 as 3.10 is super broken and will cause a lot of four of three errors Right now I'm going to make Gradle update these dependencies and I will be back when it's done. So right now we have arrived in the play command. And the first thing that we want to do is scroll down and create a new method called search YouTube. So private string search YouTube. And it's going to get a string of input and let's return null as a default and make it nullable for, for checks. So right now we have our method created and we have a default return value. And we can basically already work on the implementation and get that right before we start with the more complicated YouTube stuff. So first off, we're going to remove this part and remove everything in the if statement. We're gonna say string yt searched 
equals search YouTube input. And finally, we're going to say input equals widely searched. Right now, we need to do a null check. So if whitey search is null, we're going to return and we're going to say channel dot send message. Don't forget the queue. And the message that we are going to send is YouTube returned no results. That's not how you spell results. That's how you spell results. And now comes the difficult part, implementing YouTube. So what we want to do firstly is create a private final YouTube object. And in the constructor of our play command, we want to assign that one. So I'm going to make a temp variable. So YouTube temp is null. And we're going to say YouTube equals temp. Because we need to have a try catch here. Because thanks to Google, everything throws an exception. So catch exception e e dot print stack trace. So right now we're gonna say the temp is equal to a new YouTube dot builder. We can already build this. And what we and we can set an application name. I'm gonna set this to menu docs JDA tutorial bot. Of course, put in here what you want. This is just for you. This is just so that you can see in the analytics of the API what stuff is using your API. The Google Builder takes three parameters. The first one is the Google Net HTTP net http transport dot new trust transport the next one is the jackson factory dot get default instance and the last one is null as we don't need an HTTP, http request initializer and if you have a json factory you could also use that one but i prefer jackson so we're going to use that and let's go down to our search youtube method again and let's do a try catch again because YouTube throws the exceptions instead of handling them and I don't want to deal with handling them either right now so what's gonna say is list search result and make sure to import the correct one from com.google.api.services.youtube.model so we're gonna call this results and this is YouTube and we need to search and then we need to list. And the part that we need is ID and snip bed. And you might be wondering how I got to these, how I got to search and list. Well, it's really easy. If you go to the documentation of search list, you can see we can search overview and list. And if you scroll down a bit, you see here a JavaScript example where it searches for docs with a max results of 25. And what you can clearly see is that we have YouTube, it calls search and then list with the ID and the snippet here. So we need to have this queue as our search query. And if you scroll up here, you can also see queue the query term so if we go to here we can set q to our input you can also set a max results to one and of course we only want video so set type video and we need to set some fields um these fields i copied them from another project uh, you can find these in the documentation, but this will just give you all the data uh, from from the video ID. So the kind, the video ID, the title, and the default URL for the thumbnail, if you want to use that. Next up, we need to set our API key 
in the YouTube API. So we say set key, and now we can say config dot get instance dot get string, and we called it YouTube key. So we can paste that here. Right now we can say execute. And we can say get items. So if results are not empty, we can say string video ID is results dot get the first one dot get ID dot get a video ID. And you may seem a bit confused right now, but uh, we can also get the kind from the ID it because ID returns a resource ID So and what you can see here we have in our items query we have the ID slash kind and ID slash video ID So we could get the kind as well, but we, we are only interested in the video ID So right now we can return a string and that is the default YouTube watch string. This is it's because as you know, it's always watch and then the video ID. And this is how easy it is to search YouTube. Because what we do here, we replace the input with this video link. And Lava Player will handle the rest for us. So let's go to Discord and check out how this works. So right now we can join a voice channel, as you can see, and we can make the bot join. And for the ones that are wondering why I changed the prefix, um, we have another bot in here for our JDA documentation, which uses the J explanation mark prefix already. So that's why I changed it. So what we can do right now is of course we can uh, play a song from YouTube. So let's go to YouTube and grab a song I guess so what we can do is we can copy the URL and paste it in here the back and forth has got me so messed up don't take no and as you can see it just starts playing but what if you want to search by title so let's just copy this title and use explanation mark, explanation mark, play, unknown part. Oh, I see that I made a small typo here. It needs to be ID comma snippet and not ID dot snippet. That's my bad. So let's reboot the bot. So if we make the bot join again and try now. You can see it plays the exact same song. And, th and that's how to integrate the YouTube API in your Discord bot. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to Docs if you have not already done that. And I see you guys in the next tutorial on Docs. Bye! Yeah, that body's a blessing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. With the temperature, I wrote the song, but I am the messenger through the metropolis. There is no stopping this. Flowers and kisses, yeah. I heard you like chocolate. Light up the candles.